everybody's agreeing on what they don't want, but f to have a transition, they're going to at some point have to agree on what they do want. Well, even the streets, we have seen the slogans, slogans evolving from anti Bouteflika to pro something. And, and what is that, that pro something, something? Is a transition. It's um, a transitional government. It's democracy. It's rule of law. It's no corruption and impunity. So it is getting more and more precise. Um, just. Um, just a few days ago, uh, we saw uh, people organizing citizen workshops in the streets and public spaces to debate over what is the specific route to take uh, in order to make that happen. And is it the same case as in Egypt where uh, people reject people who claim to be leaders or are they designating uh, representatives? How well, does it work? Well, the sentiment is that we are fed up with uh, top-down decisions. Uh, we are fed up of not having a seat at the table. Uh, every Friday, people, millions of people take the streets to protest with specific demand and categorical demands and in the speaking the same voice that is clear to hear. And every week, just a few days after these demonstrations, we have a new, um, a new declaration, a new letter that is trying to negotiate. So... so so you have coordinators, because at some point you do need a leadership, don't you? I think that's the challenge right now, is representativity. And uh, it has to come from the people, by the people, and no imposed leaders. Uh, we call this za'imism. Uh, we don't want someone to be uh, a forced leader and uh, take credit. Uh, we want uh, the leaders to emerge from civil society.